Could the homestead shelter for unaccompanied migrants of closing tonight, the number of children being held there continues to shrink. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live at the shelter with late details from the federal government tonight. Ty. Well, Jim, tonight it is still unclear whether this facility will close its doors soon. The federal government says it only opens when there is an increase in the number of unaccompanied minors crossing the southern border. And tonight, the federal government says that number is down. Monday night, Health and Human Services confirmed no more unaccompanied children from the southern border will be sent to this facility in South Dade. The announcement comes hours after several congressional Democrats who are on a subcommittee that oversees funding at the facility went on a tour. The goal is to get these children to placements and out of a temporary facility. It's unlikely this group had anything to do with the decision. Health and Human Services describes Homestead as an emergency shelter. Children are sent here when permanent shelters are at capacity. A spokesperson went on to say, on average, each child is at one of its facilities for 45 days. That's down from the three-month average in November of last year. If we could have moved these children that quickly, why haven't we been moving them all along? Why haven't we been moving them all along? Health and Human Services says it has sped up uniting children with parents, close family, or finding a sponsor. The faster movement is because of a policy change, and the number of accompanied children crossing the border is down. But congressional Democrats question the process. There's clearly information like addresses of where the children are going, who's phone sponsoring numbers. them, phone numbers, contact information that clearly could be used by the Department of Homeland Security to engage in an enforcement action against those potential sponsors. Recently, Congress approved an additional $2.8 billion for health and human services. The secretary told CBS News last month the money will go toward opening smaller permanent shelters. And after a number of protests from hundreds wanting to see the shelter closed, a spokesperson says it's too early to speculate the next step for the facility in South Dade. The feds also told me tonight when the facility initially closed back in April 2017, it was still maintained and ready to reopen if needed. We are live in South Miami-Dade County. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.